Chances are you're adding black bars to your videos, whether through an effect in your editing software or you're using a PNG image and then placing that over top of your footage. If you are, then let me pass on some information to you that will allow you to keep that letterbox effect as well as have an actual cinematic aspect ratio. So when you are watching your video on say a widescreen monitor, a widescreen TV, or even if you flip your phone sideways, your video plays on that whole screen and is not limited to a small section. Okay, quick run through of aspect ratios without boring you. Most of our phones and TVs display in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is 1600 pixels by 900 pixels. The letterbox effect or black bars occur when a 21 by nine image, which is the aspect ratio that is used to show films recorded in CinemaScope and most modern anamorphic formats is placed on a 16 by 9 format. Because the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is obviously wider than the 16 by 9, it is squeezed into a smaller space, thus creating bars on top and bottom. What you're doing by adding a letterbox effect to a 16 by 9 image is essentially giving yourself less real estate in that shot and not actually making it ultra widescreen. Let's take a look at a travel video I did edited on a 16 by 9 timeline with a letterbox effect plopped onto it. The black bars look good when the phone is vertical, but when you flip the screen horizontal, you are left with a lot of black space. It would be the same ordeal when watching this video on a widescreen monitor or TV. Conversely, if you edit on a 21 by 9 timeline, you will get the black bars if your phone is vertical, and if you flip horizontally, it'll gorgeously fill up the whole space. So the way to do this in your editing software is fairly universal with whatever editing software you're using. If you're wanting to edit on a 1080p HD timeline, you'll change your resolution to 1920 by 822 and if you're wanting to edit on a 4k timeline you'll change your resolution to 3840 by 1644. Most likely you will need to scale your shots bigger to fit this wider cinematic aspect ratio. What you can do in Final Cut Pro at least is change the spatial conform option on your clips to fill. This will make your shots fill up the whole screen and also give you some room to move the position of your shot up and down. If you've already created a project you can still do all of these steps actually. And now you guys have maximized the amount of space your beautiful video is playing on, it looks professional, it looks cinematic, and people are going to go on and on telling you how much they like it. I hope you guys like this video. If it helped you out, it would help me out if you guys would press the thumbs up button and shoot me a comment below. Also subscribe if you have not already. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Happy creating.